Hiya, I'm Ollie Mott. I'm Head of Financial Crime for the Nottingham Building Society. Um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about me and my career. What? When I was at school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I grew up. Um, I had many different ideas, as no doubt everyone else does. But what I did know is the things that I enjoyed. And I enjoyed science and I enjoyed maths. I know, a bit geeky. Um, and so I chose to do those at school. And I followed my path through GCSEs and, and on into A-levels. Still not knowing really where I was going. But I knew what I enjoyed. So I carried on doing what I enjoyed. I then went to university where I studied physics. Because again, that was something that I enjoyed and I knew that I've got three years hard work and if I didn't enjoy it then I wasn't going to get anywhere with it. So I chose physics and I went through my physics degree and it was quite clear this is not the direction I wanted to go uh, at all. But I didn't know what the direction was until one day my grandma got broken into and I went round her house afterwards and there was a crime scene investigator there and they were examining the scene. I thought it looked really interesting so I spoke to her, um, had some time with her, and then I got some work experience within the police force and the crime scene investigation unit, and I realised this was what I wanted to do. So I went away to university again, did a, did a second uh, year at university, and I studied forensic science, and when I came back I knew I wanted to be in the crime scene investigation, so I worked at various temping jobs at the hospital, uh, in health and safety, uh, in stores and stores management until such time a job came up for me in crime scene investigation and I worked there for 15 years. I worked my way through the various ranks uh, up and to the point where I was a manager within the crime scene investigation team but at that time um, things became a little bit uncertain in the police force. There was lots of budgets being cut and we didn't know which direction we were going and me and my wife knew that we wanted to go and do some traveling before we had children and so we took a near enough a year out three quarters of a year out we went around the world um we we'd saved up for five years put money aside each month so that we could afford uh, a big long holiday really and had a fantastic time um went traveling all the way around the globe and then came back again came back into my job fortunately because i was lucky enough to be working in the police force where they held a space open for you if you took a career break. Um, it was a bit of a gamble because I didn't know whether there would be a space in the same team. Um, but as it happened, I came back into the same team. But that uncertainty was still there and it never left, really, despite the fact I really enjoyed the job. Um, there was lots of budget cuts. There was lots of reductions in numbers. We amalgamated with other forces and that meant my opportunities to go any further were limited and or blocked. And I didn't know what to do because I'd been in the police for 15 years. Uh, all I knew was crime scene investigation. And it took me a year of working with a management consultant, leadership counsellor, to understand that I actually had a lot of transferable skills. And these skills I could put into other jobs. And suddenly a whole world of different opportunities came to me. And then one day I saw a job in financial crime and I realised financial crime wasn't a long way from crime scene investigation. I was working with investigators. I was in a safe environment. But there was a new challenge, and that was finance and financial crime world. And I didn't know whether I could do that, but I went for a job. And they saw something in me and said, yes, we'd like to give you this job. But a condition of your job is you need to study, and you need to study quickly, and you need to study hard. So once again, I was back in the books, uh, this time at home to get the qualifications I needed to do my job. I'm now four years, four and a half years into that job. I work for two different building societies, two different banks essentially in that time. Um, I've moved back to Nottingham because I live in Nottingham, lived in Nottingham for 25 years and I was working in Coventry so that was a long drive for me but I was happy to do it because I enjoyed the job and then a job at Nottingham came up and I jumped at the chance because it was uh, a step up for me, a bit more experience, a bit more responsibility, and I was closer to home. Everything obviously changed last March. I have not been into the office since March. I worked Monday to Friday, nine to five, in the office every day throughout my private, my banking career. I worked every day in the office or in and around the crime scenes at 
the police. I have never worked from home. And then in March last year, we were all told to go home and not to come back in again. I am now sat in my bedroom. I have a little desk and a chair which I've created for me. I have two children downstairs homeschooling. I have my wife who's homeschooling with them. It is very different, but I actually enjoy it because I can get on with work. There is huge advances in technology, which mean I can still communicate with my colleagues um, and we can still have that team atmosphere. So I guess in adversity, it has turned out well. It has taken our business on some steps technology-wise to now doing what um, we can do to make make all this remote working work. And yeah, so and my role now, head of financial crime in charge of all the financial crime elements for the building society and protecting our money and our members from uh, from fraud and money laundering. I suppose my advice to you is do something you enjoy. Do something that you are happy with because you've got a long time of studying or, or working to do. And if you don't enjoy it, you won't um, have a good time. You won't be able to do well in your job. And always remember that there are always different opportunities for you. It doesn't matter um, if you don't know exactly everything about the job you're doing. You will learn some things. You will have skills you'll be able to transfer. Um, just go for it and back yourself. But good luck in your careers and uh, hope to hear some good stories from you.